Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about some of the free offerings that Google has in terms of all of their AI tools. So if you're interested in looking at some free tools and in this particular case, I'm going to be looking at their deep research tool, then please keep on watching. Okay, so Google have really caught up, I think, in terms of the AI race and they're actually offering a lot of their AI tools for free. I've talked extensively in the past about Notebook LM and I would say that I use that every single day. I've tried Google AI Studio and I'm still trying to think of a way to use that for educational purposes. Google AI Studio so far has a few functions like it can look at your screen and, and give you instructions on how to use particular software. So it's very much like a tutorial or direct instruction. So in the future, I'm going to be thinking about how I can use Google AI Studio in an inquiry based classroom and to enhance learning. But today I'm going to be looking at their deep research tool, which is for free. So if you're interested, so let me just jump to that screen now. Okay, so here I am on gemini.google.com and I'm on the deep research tool. You can see that I'm actually on the free plan because it says upgrade here. And I also have my VPN on because I'm in Hong Kong and I can't access some of the Google products such as Notebook LM, Google AI Studio. And so let's just try this. Now I'm going to say try this now. So let me just press that and deep research. I'm going to put in a prompt that I actually got from Claude 3.7, a prompt that I got from Claude 3.7 Sonnet because the prompting is really important. So I asked Claude to give me a really comprehensive prompt on AI adoption in education. I wanted to know the challenges and I'll just copy and paste the prompt here so you can see it. Okay. So here is the actual prompt conductor comprehensive analysis of academic research, industry reports and case studies of AI adoption and education. Now I want to go up to 2025. So let me just change that. Identify the primary pain points, implementation challenges, successful integration strategies and evidence-based outcomes across K-12, higher education and professional learning environments. Include specific attention to equity concerns, teacher preparation needs and infrastructure requirements. Based on this analysis, provide concrete, that's my Grammarly that keeps popping up, concrete recommendations for educational institutions, policy makers and technology developers to effectively leverage AI while addressing current limitations. And then see, this is a very comprehensive prompt because your output is only going to be as good as your input. Please include citations to key research studies that will allow me to verify that information and organize findings from educational context and stakeholder perspective. So then this is the actual instructions um, that, so, so I've just deleted what Claude said in terms of their own prompt. I've got deep research. Um, I've got deep research clicked on here and then let's submit. Now, as far as I understand, I think, let me just move myself over. I've got about, I think five deep research searches per month on the free plan. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And I want to go live here and not pause so that you can see how long this is going to take, but it says a few minutes. So researching all the websites, that's what it's currently doing now. And I think I have to start the search. So yeah, I have to actually start the search. It said analyze academic research and industry reports. It's opened up a new window. I'm going to make myself a bit smaller and just move myself here so that you can see what's happening. So Gemini Flash 2.5, I'm starting a comprehensive analysis of AI adoption covering 2018 to 2025. Absolutely wonderful. Look, I can click on any of these references because I will be verifying all of this, especially if I'm going to be using it with educators and releasing this information. And let's just continue to scroll down here, researching 11 websites. These 11 here. That was the first 11. Yeah. Now it's having a look at next step is to delve deeper into the promising sources I've identified. Okay. So it's actually going through a filtering process. I've been browsing these reports and articles to extract detailed information on specific pain points, successful integration strategies. That's what I want. And evidence-based outcomes, equity concerns. Absolutely. Teacher preparation needs and infrastructure requirements. I'll also be differentiating findings across K-12, higher education 
and professional learning context to provide a comprehensive analysis. And with this analysis, I'm going to share it in the comment section below so that you can access this as well. Now, I have a feeling that this may take uh, quite a few minutes. So I'm going to hit the pause button and then come back. OK, it hasn't finished yet, but I thought that I would just show you what stage it's up to. So it actually looked at those 11 uh, sources first, then it filtered down to these ones. I can see there's a, a government site. Great, because it's important that we want reliable sources here. And then it's key trends and market growth. I'm observing a strong trend of AI becoming a creative thought partner in education moving beyond just time saving. Excellent. I mean, yes, AI tools can save us time, but you know, we want AI tools to really transform education, enhance learning and be a thought partner for us. You know, we are never going to be replaced by AI. I always say because of the human elements that we bring to the classroom and the relationships and the rapport that we build with our students. So I'm so glad that it's finding research to support this. Both students and educators are increasingly using AI. Great, though, there's a notable gap in their understanding and training. The market for AI in education is projected for substantial growth driven by demand for personalized learning and tools that support educators. So it's identified challenges and pain points. And let me just skim this. It includes data privacy, algorithmic bias, absolutely, and transparency, particularly in K-12. Teachers often feel underprepared and have doubts about AI's value. I actually meet a lot of educators that are still resistant to using AI tools, fearing issues like plagiarism, and reduced human interaction, true. And of course, I've seen that study that's going around saying, you know, talking about the, the lack of brain and cognitive engagement. In higher education, infrastructure gaps, limited AI innovation and challenges in faculty upskilling are prominent. Affordability and equitable access to AI tools also are, recur are recurring concerns. Okay, so next, so it's still researching. Okay, it's researching 31 websites at the moment and I think we've been going for about five minutes so I'm going to hit the pause button again and and we'll come back to the end so that we can actually look at the report it is going to give us a report in a google doc format which is great so I'm going to hit the pause button again okay I'm back and I have the executive summary here the full report and that probably took about 10 minutes I would say just to estimate so let's have a look we're just going to look at the summary I'm not going to read through the entire paper but let's just have a look at the summary so AI has emerged as profoundly transformative, great, reshaping learning, teaching and admin processes across K-12, higher education and professional learning. The global AI in education market has seen exponential growth. OK, we do know that driven by the widespread adoption of AI tools, particularly Gen AI. This report provides a comprehensive analysis of rapid integration, identifying primary pain points such as ethical concerns. That's no surprise to me. Teacher preparedness gaps. No surprise again and infrastructure deficiencies. It details successful integration strategies, including human-centered design, which I've been advocating for for a very long time, AI literacy initiatives, which I think should be embedded into our curriculum, and the leveraging of AI for personalized learning and administrative efficiencies. Evidence-based outcomes demonstrate significant improvements in learning outcomes, efficiency and engagement, alongside enhanced equity and accessibility. Based on this analysis, concrete recommendations are provided for educational institutions. Maybe they'll be later in the paper, policymakers and technology developers to effectively harness AI's potential while proactively addressing its limitations, ensuring an inclusive human centric future for education. I love that. OK, so We've got a little bit of history in terms of the evolving landscape of AI. OK, key trends. Great. And lots of references here that I can check. I'm sure that they will be at the end. If I click on this, learn more. OK, great. It actually gives me 
the papers and the references so I can cross check them uh, paragraph by paragraph. And then let's have a look. AI adoption across educational contexts. So good. Oh, it's given me some examples of Quizlet and Khan Academy and then specific challenges and opportunities. I couldn't agree more. Look, K-12 education often operates on an outdated industrial age model focused on memorization, rigid schedules and standardized assessments which is ill-suited for an AI-powered world. Absolutely. Opportunities. So AI enables a crucial shift from content delivery memorization to developing essential future-ready skills such as critical thinking, the ability to analyze, evaluate, and create, creativity, the ability to innovate and think in ways AI cannot, and adaptability, the ability to continuously learn and work alongside evolving technology. AI can empower teachers by freeing them from the admin burdens, allowing them to focus on fostering curiosity, encouraging deep thinking, and preparing students for an AI pervasive world. AI can also enhance collaboration of learning experiences that extend beyond the traditional classroom. Wonderful. Okay, then it's got higher education, specific challenges and opportunities, which I'll read later. The professional learning and corporate training. Yep, I'm going to read that later because that's uh, what I've mainly been involved in. And you can see, look at this case study uh, by McKinsey, found that AI-driven personalized learning led to a 30% increase in employee engagement and 25% improvement in learning outcomes. Of course, I'd want to look at these references of where this is getting the data from and that information. So here it's outlined the pain points, ethical concerns and bias, and all the different types of ethical concerns and bias from data, algorithmic, transparency, plagiarism, and over-reliance and impact on critical thinking, misinformation. Absolutely, because we know that AI tools still confabulate, create mirages. So we need to be careful about the misinformation crisis. And then, of course, another pain point is the teacher preparedness, as well as AI literacy, etc. So I will link this paper below in the comments section so that you can actually skim and read this or maybe you want to put it in your notebook LM and get a summary of it. Uh, I'm going to also try and cross-reference and read uh, these references that it's given me. If I go all the way to the conclusion, let's have a look at the conclusion. The period from 2018 to 2025 has marked a pivotal era of AI adoption, okay, in education, characterized by exponential growth, widespread recognition of its transformative potential. The evidence overwhelmingly points to AI's capacity to improve learning outcomes and significantly boost efficiency, offering a compelling case for its continued integration. However, this rapid evolution is not without its complexities. Critical challenges persist, notably ethical concerns around data privacy, algorithmic bias, and the potential for over-reliance that could undermine deep learning. Furthermore, a significant gap in teacher preparedness and AI literacy coupled with substantial infrastructure requirements and the risk of exacerbating the digital divide underscore the need for strategic and thoughtful implementation. And then this last paragraph here, the analysis reveals that the most impactful applications of AI in education emerge when the technology is viewed not as a replacement for expertise. I want to stress that, but as a powerful augmentative tool. The future success of AI in education hinges on a human-centric approach that prioritizes ethical considerations invest heavily in comprehensive AI literacy, which I think should be embedded in the curriculum, and professional development for all stakeholders and proactively builds robust, equitable infrastructure. By fostering collaboration among educational institutions, policymakers and technology developers, and by committing to continuous adaptation and responsible innovation, the educational landscape can effectively leverage AI to create a more inclusive, equitable, and effective learning experience for all. Lovely. And let's look at 
all of the sources used. So here they're clickable, I can check them, and I can also import all of these sources into Google Notebook LM if I wanted to. Yeah, lovely. Let's have a look at the, let me just move myself closer to the export button. You can see there's the export button. I can export to docs. I can copy the contents as well so that it can be you know, easily exported to any format or here I can create a web page, infographic, quiz, or overview. Okay, so that was looking at Gemini 2 Point Flash, the deep research tool, the deep research functionality, and I received all of this for free. I think it's quite amazing that Google are actually releasing so many of their products for free for everybody. And I'm really impressed with their deep research tool. So if you tried Gemini 2.5 Flash and their research tool, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think and what your opinions are on, on the outputs and, and the reports that it's generating. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.